Okay, this is uh, just looking at the uh, Roden Schwartz ZVH4 um, antenna analyzer. What I've actually got connected to the analyzer at the moment is a small duplexer, a CDX indoor duplexer. You can't use this one outside; it's not weatherproof. And um, I've just got the uh, the analyzer connected to the 1.2, uh, 1.3 rather, to 225 meg port. So I'm just going to have a look at the throughput and um, see what the um, see what the UHF rejection is like. Now the other port's 350 to 540 megs. That's where you'd be connecting your 70 sem equipment. So this doesn't actually belong to me. This, uh, this is just a, this is another gadget that belongs to uh, L VK six KIF. So here we go. Uh, you can see the frequency indicated here. Sorry about the shaky camera work, but I'm holding my phone. There we are. There's the there's the frequency, and there's the through loss. Okay, so 0 0.3 dB. The device is calibrated. Uh, we've just calibrated the uh, the analyzer, and uh, I haven't shown the calibration procedure because it's just too tedious to bear. Okay, so 145 megs. We can see that there's 0 0.3 dB loss through the device. It says it goes to 1.3 megs, doesn't it? This port. So let's go down, right down here. Okay. <laughs> well, the bit we're interested in, <laughs> the bit we're interested in is here anyway. It's 145 megs. Okay, so we go along here, and this is supposed to pass. This port is supposed to pass up to 225 megs. Let's have a look. So 200. 225 megs, there we go, 0 0.75 dB uh, loss through it at that point. As we move this along, we can see it drops off pretty rapidly after there, down to about there, that's 297.5 megs, and we've got neg 43 there. We go along here, now where we want it to have a nice dip, see that nice dip here, this, this, this nice dip? We really want that nice dip at about 430 megs, but unfortunately that's not what we've got. So if we go across here to say 400 and I think 430 megs is it? Is the middle of the 70 cent band? There we are. So that's 430 megs indicated there. But neg 55 is the uh, is the loss through that at that uh, at that frequency? Now, what we really wanted was this this nice negative peak here. We wanted that on that line for that to be really uh, nice and ideal. So you want the maximum attenuation at the middle of the 70 centimeter band, uh, not where it is at the moment, which is. There, it's 400. And, sorry, what is that? Yeah, 490 megs. So 490 megs, we've got neg. Oh, I'll call it neg 80. It's floating around a little bit, but that is where that there should be saying 430 megs at that point. So the through is fine, up to 225 megs. So it didn't go down to the uh, the LF end. Um, uh, partly because we're not really interested in that, we're only interested in two megs. Um, actually, I can't remember how I set this up now, but uh, let's just have a very quick look at... Yeah, well that's 52.5, so 0 0.1 dB on 6 metres, you know, so if you wanted to connect 6 metres to it, that's okay. On the VHF port. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just reconnect this and have a look at the UHF port and see uh, see how that looks. 
Um, not quite sure how to pause this on this iPhone. Um, not sure I can pause the recording. So if you just bear with me for a, uh, a minute or two, I'll uh, see if I can do this with one hand. God. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with one hand. say on every video this is amateur radio so sorry for the very non-slick production okay so now it's on the 350 the 350 to 540 meg port. Let's see what we got here. Okay, well as you would expect, we are seeing pretty much the opposite. So where's the marker? So I'll just move this along to 430 megs. We go. So at 430 megs, we have 0 0.42 dB of insertion loss. Come back there. You can see the vertical blue line here, that's the marker. You can see the frequency changing as I move that along. So as that comes along here to about there, it starts rolling off. So 340 megs, it starts falling down a fairly steep slope there. Nice bit of attenuation there. Where's that? That's 220 megs, neg 63. Comes back up again. Goes to there. 160 megs, neg 80. So neg 80 is about 160 megs. Again, this looks like it's going to be in the wrong spot. So we go along here to one. Yeah. There you go. So 145 megs. It's about neg 60. So looking at that, uh, looking at that response there, and it continues to go down here. Yeah. So yeah, but where you want it, which is 145 megs, right there, you've got about neg 60. So on the UHF port. Um, you're getting about neg 60 dB of attenuation with regard uh, to the centre of the 2 metre band. And um, on the VHF port, you've got about neg, neg 60 dB of attenuation at the centre of the, um, of the 70 centimetre band. So this duplexer is uh, not really optimised for 2 metres and 70 cms. So it could do. Uh, oh, sorry about this, it's bloody. Using the phone to film stuff is uh, not very good at all. But there we go. So that's what the little uh, that's what the little duplexer looks like. Um, it would be nice if uh, Neg 80 was in the middle of the two meter band on the UHF port, and um, in the middle of the 70 cm band on the VHF port. But um, it's uh, not uh, not quite optimized uh, for uh, two meters and 70 cms, unfortunately. Well, there we go. That's the uh, rather shoddy video production of the response through the CDX duplexer, the i540. As always, thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll catch you next time.